Testing, one, two, three, testing. Just showing off the new tripod for my iPhone here. And I am um, just demonstrating real quick and dirty um, some of the work I've done on my um, on my 68 Shelby Green Hornet, converting a fastback into a notchback Shelby Coupe. It's got the Shelby front end. Biggest, hardest part right now is getting this roof line right. I'm trying to get the uh, contours the way that the one-to-one -one is. There's a subtle crease that goes up from the C pillars all the way up along the um, the roof panel here, top of the roof, which a lot of guys miss. I try to get that, try to capture that look, and I'm also trying to get this rear window area correct. Uh, 67, 68 notchbacks had kind of a tunnel back um, a rear window, so that's um, that's something I'm trying to trying to correct so far. But so far so good. I got one door cut out. I've got. Um, Got to build up the door, door jam yet. I got the sides pretty much filled in the way I want. Um, what else? Um, I want to fill in with some putty this windshield header along here. Get that all filled in. Um, clean up some areas where there's some divots and small things in with some spot putty, some Tamiya putty particularly. Um, the big areas I like to use the, the, the uh, Dynatron putty coat, which is my um, putty of choice for quite a while now. Um, that's that's pretty much it. So far, so good. And the next thing is to work on this uh, cutting out this tail panel, putting in the Shelby uh, caps on the end with the spoiler, integrate the spoiler off the fastback kit, and put that on the trunk. Cut the trunk out. Lots and lots of work ahead, but um, I think it's well worth it because the car I've always liked and one I've not really seen done well correctly. I did one back in '96 and it was okay as far as it went, but. Um, could have been better, and this is this is my second attempt, and hopefully a much better attempt at it. Thanks for looking. See you.